Hello, myself Dr. Dinesh and Patil. Welcome to my channel, Digital Forensics for Beginners. In this video, which is titled as SIM Card Forensics, the analysis of the various important information that is available on the SIM card is performed in this particular video. The SIM card itself is an integral part of the mobile devices or the smartphone devices. So without having the SIM card, uh, it is not possible to make use of the mobile devices itself. So certainly the SIM card is required to be inserted in the mobile devices and then we can make use of the, the particular mobile devices and its functionality. So to begin with, we'll discuss about the basic concepts about the SIM card. The SIM, it stands for the subscriber identity model and it is a fundamental component of the mobile phone. So it is also known as an integrated circuit card. Uh, so, a particular uh, SIM, it is generally available on the universal integrated circuit card. So, with the advancement of the technology such as GSM and the UMTS, uh, different kind of uh, uh, cards have been developed and those were having called as a universal integrated circuit card. On this universal integrated circuit card, we are having the SIM apart from the various other components such as RAM, ROM and the EEPROM also are being fabricated on the universal integrated circuit card. So SIM allows user to port identity, personal information and services between devices. So even if you take out a particular SIM from one mobile device and put it in some another mobile devices, it is uh, uh, we are going to access the same details whatever is being stored in the previous mobile devices. So like the contact numbers, the SMS, so everything is going to be same available on the other mobile devices so that's why the sim is uh, that means it allows the portability so i just just said that the, the sim card uh, that means uh, it is also considered as a universal integrated circuit card so on this universal integrated circuit uh, card we can have the sim card then we can have the central processing unit then we can have the random access memory the read only memory and the electronically erasable programmable read only memory <coughs> So on the read-only memory, we can have the operating system. Apart from that, we can have certain algorithm in order to perform the authentication of the subscriber itself. And the contact details such as uh, the, the mobile numbers which have been saved in the particular SIM, they are generally stored in the EEPROM. Then apart from that, we can have the particular messages that is have been sent and received by the subscriber itself. So they are also available in the EEPROM itself. The SIM generally it comes in different size. Uh, at the beginning, we are having the SIM card of the size of a credit card. So, with the advancement of the technology, we are having the the SIM of the size varying, like the standard, micro, and the nano size. A SIM card maintains a different kind of information, and that particular information is being managed by the the file system that is available as part of the SIM card. So, this particular file system is arranged in a uh, arranges the information in a hierarchical manner. So, at the top of this particular, uh, we are having a file master file, and then below that, we are having two different kinds of file like a dedicated files and the elementary files, which stands uh, in uh, abbreviated as EUP. As part of the elementary file, we are having ICC ID. <coughs> so, ICC ID it stands for Integrated Circuit Card Identifier, which is a 20 digit number, and it consists of the various information. So what kind of information it consists of? It consists of uh, the industry identifier that is of two digit. And then it consists of the mobile country code that is also two, di two to three digits. Then the mobile network code which is of one to four digit. Then the home location register of two digits. Then the mobile subscriber ID number of nine digit. So these kinds of informations are available as part of the ICC ID. Then, as part of the DDK date files, we are having the GSM, then Telecom, and the DSC1800. So, GSM and DSC1800 type of files, they identify the network related information. So, by using this GSM and the DSC1800 types of files, we can get the network related information. Then, the Telecom related, uh, this particular file, they provide the service related information which is provided by the service provider. <coughs> so first we'll talk about the GSM, uh, what kinds of uh, information that have been provided by the GSM related files. 
so one of the file extended file that is called is the IMSI so it stands for the international mobile subscriber identity identity which is of 15 digits and whatever the information that is uh, provided by the ICC ID similar kind of information that is also provided by this IMSI field like the mobile country code mobile network code and the mobile subscriber identity number so what is the advantage of having this mobile country code so one can understand where that particular subscriber is located by having the mobile network code one can understand which is the network service provider to that particular mobile subscriber so that is the importance of this one then e there are some other extended uh, files as part of the gsm as well then as part of the telecom we are having some file like adn which stands for abbreviated dialing numbers so when a particular mobile subscriber dial to some unknown numbers or receive the call from some unknown number so that details is being stored in this uh, abbreviated dialing numbers then Another type of file is a extended file is a SMS short messaging service. So whatever the information that have been sent and received, the messages that have been sent and received by the subscriber, so they are stored in this SMS file. Then uh, another type of file is MSISDN. So this MSISDN it stands for Mobile Station International Subscriber Directory Number, and it is intended to convey the telephone number assigned to the subscriber for receiving call on the particular specific phone so that is the apl application of this msisdn so that is uh, it maintains certain a particular number the telephone number and that is being required to be conveyed to the subscriber so for receiving the call on the phone so that particular uh, so that means this subscriber uh, telephone number uh, is being conveyed uh, so that is being actually it is msisdn is maintained is intended to convey the telephone number assigned to the subscriber for receiving the call on the phone so that particular telephone number which is assigned to the subscriber is being conveyed by using this particular msisdn so the mobile operating system will look after this msisdn in order to convey the the subscriber the mobile number of the particular subscriber then there are certain extended files are also available now what kind of sensitive information we can extract from the sim card itself so we can have the integrated circuit card identifier th that we have discussed so from this main important information that we can have is the mobile country code mobile network code and then the the details such as the individual account identification number so that we can have from this Ap apart from that then th we are having international mobile subscriber identity so whatever the information that is accessed by using this integrated circuit card identifier from this also we can access the similar kind of information from the msi then who is the service provider name so that we can access from this particular feed mobile country code so where that particular subscriber is located in which country so that details we can extract from the mobile country code the network code where is the who is the actual service provider is code one can access from this field mobile subscriber identification number so that is the identification number that is given to the particular subscriber msisdn so this is used for conveying the the telephone number while when, when a particular call is going to be received by the particular subscriber abbreviated dialing number so they are meant for storing the unknown numbers which have been uh, that means a particular if a particular call have been received by the subscriber from some unknown number so this is going to be stored in the abbreviated dialing numbers also the call that have been made to some unknown numbers so that is also going to be stored there last dial number it is going to store maintain the information about the last number which have been dialed by the subscriber or the recently dialed number short message service it maintains the information about the messages that have been sent or received by the subscriber whatever the language that have been prepared <coughs> uh, in order to make use of the services uh, so that is being specified as part of the language preference then the card holder verification so these are actually chb1 and the chb2 they are the condition which allow which allows whenever this condition are satisfied then it allows the access to the files after the successful uh, successful verification of the personal identification number so whenever the condition is satisfied whichever is mentioned in the chv1 and the chv2 
the files which ever are available as part of the file system are going to be made available whenever it have been sought now whatever the information that have been sent by using the mobile it is not going to be sent in the form of a plain text so certainly it is required to be encrypted and for the encryption uh, purpose the algorithm that is uh, required for encryption and the decryption of the information it is available as part of the rom that is read only memory and then <coughs> the key that is required for uh, encryption purpose it is stored in the cipher key and the cipher key sequence also uh, sequence number that is also meant for encryption and decryption of the information then there is a emergency call code so whenever the uh, particular uh, call is required for during the emergency that particular emergency call code is also available with the numbers the fixed dialing number so these are maintain the information that is available with the the sim like the contact number that have been stored in the particular sim so that details are stored in the fixed dialing numbers the local area identity so whatever is the serves the service area of the particular mobile service provider so that is stored in this local area identity whatever is the own dialing number whatever is the original subscriber number or the phone number of that particular subscriber is stored in this temporary mobile subscriber identity so instead of sending the imsi every time to the service provider the mobile <coughs> mobile uh, device Uh, send the temporary mobile subscriber identity number so in order to access the service provided by the service so in order to make a uh, recognition of a particular mobile uh, device all the time the imsr number is required to be sent to the service provider but instead of that the particular mobile device send the temporary mobile subscriber identity number so so that is the application of this dmsi a uh, mobile device is located is routing area one can identify from this what are the tools that are available like in case smartphone examiner it is mean for collecting the information from different smart devices sim card readers and the device backup so if you want to read the information directly from the sim card by using certain tools so we require the sim card reader so we are required to put in the particular sim card in the sim card reader and the sim card reader will be connected you are required to attach to the the particular laptop or the computer device in order to read the information now the next uh, device uh, next uh, tool is a mobile edit forensics so which using this one we can perform the viewing and searching of the uh, retrieve the information that is available in the sim card then the pi sim this is for mean for extraction and the decoding of the information so what are the information that is available in the particular <coughs> sim card if it is encrypted we can decrypt that decrypt that particular information by using the pi sim sim pool is a tool is required for acquiring the con entire contents of a sim card so we can acquire the entire contents of a sim card by using the sim pool decard sim manager so by using this particular tool we can access the entire address book sms which are stored in the particular uh, sim the fixed dialing number and the last dialing number so those also we can extract from the decard sim manager so these are the various of the forensic tools in order to extract the information from the sim card so thanks for watching this particular video so if you like this particular video please click on the subscriber button to get the notification for the future videos on the digital forensics thank you